Today, we're going to unbox a new bike from a brand that I was very skeptical about and too harsh in my previous video comments. Undercutting them, not giving them what they deserve and the level they probably earn already and should be praised at. The box looks big, but surprisingly light. From this box, you already know which model we'll be talking about and testing today. I cannot wait to the unboxing and see the quality of the build, presentation, overall feel and performance of this first electric bike that's in my hands today and I'll put this model to a very meticulous test and see how this performs and if it's worth getting this model at this very low price of $1399. The e-bike was well packed, delivered, assembled. Only needed to be unpacked and is nothing that I was expecting. You won't find anything like it at this price point. I've never seen so many warning tags on any product. Actually, none of the bikes I reviewed lately had any warning labels. This is good. This new adjustable handlebar stem clamp is fantastic. Really well put together, very nice quality. I haven't seen this on any other electric bike so far. I love this adjustment markings. It is so much easier to align the handlebars perfect. I have here the dual version, which only cost me additional $300 and brings the total value to $699. The frame is compact but long, rigid and looks better than I anticipated. And the bike, for dual setup and for its size, it feels extremely light. The motor, it's a rear hub 750 watt nominal and peak 1310 watts power delivery. We have a 48 volt system with a dual battery, total capacity 28 amp hour. Clean handlebar with parts that you're all well familiar, comfortable seat and crazy amount of accessories that you can see on the website. I have tried XP 3.0 version and you can see in the Vitalon versus XP 3.0 video comparison it fell lower quality, like an average e bike with entry level components, price on sale, with very low speeds and lower torque. In the Expedition case it is a completely different story. We don't have suspension on this frame, with a complete setup it feels a bit bouncy on New York City streets. Adding a seat post suspension will be welcome here, but the riding pedaling posture is very comfortable and adjustability it's insane here, will make your ride enjoyable and let you adjust for any rider height and speed desired. You can set this e-bike class 1, 2 or 3. And this thing is crazy guys, crazy cool. So you push this up, this thing comes up, and look at this. You can adjust the angle on the fly, up, down. This is freaking cool. And in the front here, when you lift it, you can adjust the angle and center it. And when you're done, just lock it. And that's it. Love this thing. And it's effortless and it's so easy. Look how long it is. Here's the limit. This is way too high for me and I'm 6'3". And check this out. You can extend, I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I don't even know like how to explain this. This is too much. I'm not sure, you know, what is this for? Being able to fold the bike really helps Loading this bike in your truck, RV, minivan, makes things so much easier. These are two things that I wanted to leave it, uh, you know, close to the middle of the video so I can show you how cool this is. So you slide this out and the pedal comes out. How cool is that? Look at this thing. This is so nice. Push it and that's it. There's a little bit of play, so maybe if they make it with higher tolerances, the perfect but even the way it is it doesn't bother and it's uh, so thin it's so light like this thing almost weighs nothing and the design is so cool I want to see more of this on other e-bikes we have standard rubber grips very compact very cool console we have this zoom hydraulic brakes I like this lever very comfortable you can use one finger or both fingers we have standard electric display and we have Five levels of assist. Well, let's do acceleration with pedaling and without pedaling.
just throttle. That's pretty much it. We're gonna go at one, two, and a three you go. I'm gonna go a little bit more room, so I'll give a bit of yeah. yeah. Alright, so one, two, three. Shift, shift, shift! Shift, shift, shift! Woo! 24, 25, wow! Crazy! Ah. <laughs> Are you pushing hard? Come on, man! Really? I hit 35. I mean, you have to. Are you shifting? What shifting? You have to go to the fucking eight. You have to go to the highest gear and, and gear down once you accelerate. You have the gear motor. Down meaning this. From, from the highest rocket, yeah. you go down. You go down. Yeah, when you accelerate the ship because you have the motor. I always leave it on the Ah, that's why. Anyway. Alright. So, no assist, just throttle. Okay, you have level 5. You weigh what, 150 pounds? Close to 200. Okay, I'm, I'm 225. Alright. And I have uh, almost 90%, you have what? 41%. You kept saying 25. So, 41. We'll go, okay, next time we'll full charge it. Alright, so at 1, 2, 3, you just go at 3, okay? One, two, three. Ah! No pedaling. No fucking way. <laughs> hey, one, two, three. Ah, uh, come on, that's not fair. I'm on 3-2. I'm picking up. I'm passing you. Woo! <laughs> 20 miles an hour. range and i covered so far 87 miles in range and i only charged twice but the numbers advertised on the website and this is the first brand actually does it so precisely actually numbers are very close uh, i got on a pedal assist in the fifth level a slightly more range than advertised numbers about 60 65 miles so i like this part and i hope more brands do this because they're advertising real numbers and they're not exaggerating the range so we're turning the lights on and we have front light which is not super bright just just a notification light and we have a rear light but we don't have a brake light and if you see if you're pressing there nothing really happens here i mean design wise the frame it is crazy comfortable this thing is insane it's too much but i like it comfortable chair this thing and the pedals and the foldability and how it packs and how it looks the color chosen extension here and the accessories that you get for this bike is just insanely cool and the prices are affordable good brakes good motor you know nice batteries so many you know accessories and the accessories are good quality so well done just guys love it it's like everything feels you know good quality and not just good like above average i could say almost high quality uh, those turn bikes just the bike alone with one battery will be like four or five grand and here you get two batteries you get this awesome features and uh, nicely you know nicely done nicely put together feels comfortable looks beautiful you know i'm shocked guys i'm really surprised i'm really really shocked and uh, the only thing is this uh, you know shifter i want to see in the livio and uh, this cables you know they made this longer because they want you to be able to go 
around the front rack if you're gonna put that they want you to be able to put this around it can go right here on the side top mount and go through the frame all the way there so it looks like almost like you know premium and uh, you can just put the next to you know specialized bike and be like okay this is cheaper better uh, you know like there's then at that point there's nothing to like you know complain or nothing to say oh you know what uh, maybe it's quality or maybe this and that so overall love the expedition guys uh, from electric you guys uh, did an awesome job you outdone yourself I tried the electric XT 3.0 and I was like uh, you know it's cheaper for a reason and I pointed out in those videos things that I like that I didn't like but again uh, if you're looking for affordable option uh, you know uh, you can't beat that but on this bike tensioner good turning shifter seven speed cassette I mean cassette the motor Bafang it's all standard reliable workhorse is gonna do its job for a long time it's perfect uh, you know for this price range I can't complain here good turning shifter you know good wiring everything it's freaking almost top-notch guys it's almost like I can't complain except the shifter and maybe maybe a sexier crank but you can spend 40 bucks and replace that and have a beautiful bike the way you like it the way it comes it's just insanely insanely good guys very very good frame good welds everything beautifully done guys and one more thing I forgot to mention this tires 20 by 3 inches this is above the average tires you find on any electric uh, bike in this price range this is actually high quality tire uh, if you get the replacement tire for Vitalan, Polarna any other bike uh, in that price range uh, you pay 25 to 40 bucks per replacement tire these tires are 70 80 dollars they're puncture resistant and an electric sends this to you with a slime inside already inserted so if you get a puncture you don't have to worry about anything these tires are awesome just getting the slime inside the tires uh, I really like this and appreciate that electric went the extra mile and offered this uh, for the customers this is a really nice touch awesome awesome bike guys awesome bike really impressed as pros you saw all the new upgraded parts the comfort and excessive number of accessories like no other cargo e bike on the market and functionality that will replace your minivan or car good ergonomics and design power delivery making this model fastest cargo e bike on the market and good efficiency and range as cons there's several here that will go over and i hope electric will consider and upgrade them i would like to see here a livio shifter a horn with turning signals a rear active brake light that is necessary to increase your safety especially if you have kids in the back or if you ride in a very busy city traffic the wires that can be run for the frame there's so much room here to hide all of that and here in the front on this section of the frame slightly wider frame that can accommodate a third battery if not more storage also be really cool to see this model in 52 volt variation at a higher price besides that this e-bike presentation wise and performance just shocked me the versatility and the multi-purpose design it's like the swiss army knife of the electric bikes so well designed and put together guys love it and i cannot wait to make the follow-up video with multiple accessories that electric offers guys if you find this video informative please don't forget to smash that like button and share this video so others learn about this model and get a chance to purchase it all the links will be down below in the description box thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time